3D Fluffy Spider with Googly Eyes Acrylic Nailer Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Hi guys! In today's video, I'm going to be doing a Halloween design that's not quite as creepy and more cute. So this one is going to be a cute little fluffy spider that's got some flocking powder and it has uh, googly eyes, which I just recently got and I did a video on what that was a flamingo with googly eyes. And as I was doing it, I'm thinking, oh my goodness, I need to do a spider with these googly eyes. It is necessary for this Halloween. So here he is. I think he's really cute and he's pretty easy and just fluffy and fun. So I hope you guys like it and don't forget to click subscribe to see all my future Halloween designs as well. So to start with, I'm going to begin with an overlay of black acrylic down the entire nail. I absolutely love cute little spiders and I've done a couple other ones in the past and I will link all my previous 3D spider videos in the description box below. I know that there was a couple of them from last year that I just, I love so much. So definitely if you don't remember those, check back at them. There's one that's a realistic spider that's in there. That's one of my, like one of my absolute favorite nails ever. I love that one. So just, yeah, check those out because they're pretty cute from last year, especially if you don't think you saw them. So then I'm going to be applying a layer of clear acrylic over the top of this just to make sure that this is going to be nice and strong. I always put clear acrylic on top of any of my colored acrylics or on top of any glitter acrylic just because it's stronger than them and it's going to and cheaper. So, you know, you're kind of getting two benefits for one little thing. So then I'm going to take and I'm going to be filing the nail into shape using my um, e-file. I started with a coarse bit, then I'm going to go over it with a finer bit just to make sure the surface is really nice and smooth. Then with a dark purple acrylic, I'm going to be sculpting out my little spider, my fluffy little spider. So I'm going to begin with his face and then put down some nail glue or to his body and then put down nail glue and then glue his eyeballs down. So I put that glue down immediately while that acrylic was still wet for his body. Then cut a couple pieces of thread. You're gonna need four of them, a green thread, long pieces of green thread. So the reason you're only needing four and spiders have eight legs, think about that, is because they're gonna go all the way through his body out the other side. So each leg is actually gonna be two legs. So each piece of thread is gonna be two legs. So then put some clear acrylic down and then set those pieces of um, thread into that little bit of clear acrylic so that they're gonna be for the legs. If you need more clear acrylic, you can always go through and add a little bit more and press them into the acrylic with the belly of your brush, really push them in so that they're gonna stay there. So then take more of your purple acrylic, that dark purple color, and place that over the top of the legs, hiding where they crisscross through the middle of it. And then also take a little bit of that over, cause the googly eyes have this larger circle base on them. It's not just the googly eye, there's like this backing. So I'm just gonna cover that up a little bit so it doesn't show so much. And I also took some of that darker purple acrylic and filled it in between them because because of that backing, they can't get super close together. So you have to have this little gap between, between the eyes. So then I'm going to take with a lighter color of purple acrylic and I'm going to be adding his two little fangs. So I set one bead down and then split it into two for his fangs, just with my tiny little acrylic brush. And I'm adding just a touch more of that purple acrylic because I thought it needed just a little bit more. So now using orange, I'm going to be adding a little tiny web at the very cuticle area of the nail that continues down and touches to his butt. And then I'm going to just finish the web with a couple little bit of those little lines, two rows of lines for the connecting pieces of the of the web. To me, Halloween colors are orange, purple, and green. Those are like classic Halloween colors. So I needed to throw all three of those into this design just to have it be like a, I don't know, entirely Halloween moment. So now I'm going to be applying a layer of gel sealer over the background. Be careful that you don't add any gel sealer or get gel sealer on your thread legs because anywhere where it gets that, it's going to become very stiff and it's not going to bend well. So make sure that that stays, they kind of sneak underneath the legs as you're applying it. After it's cured, you're going to want to go ahead and trim your legs down to size. You want them to be long enough that you have space to trim them so you don't have to deal with them being too short. You want them to be plenty long enough. Add a little bit of glue on the end of one leg. Use a tweezers to pull it and hold it in place. Now, gluing these legs in place is going to be a very um, taxing process just on your sense of patience because you think they're glued down and then you let go and then, then they're not. And then you have to start over and you have to glue them again. Or you think they're glued down and then you lift up your tweezers and you realize they're glued to the tweezers and not to the nail. It's just one of those things where once they're attached, they're good to go, but getting them to that point can be kind of a headache. So if it seems like it's a process, it's just taking too much effort, just kind of take a deep breath, maybe set it down, do something else, fold some laundry, I don't know, go for a jog and then come back and then try to glue down the rest of the legs. Like I said, it's kind of a aggravating process and it makes you want to pull your hair out by the end of it, but you got such cute little perfect thin skinny legs and this is the best way I have come up with to get these perfect skinny little legs. So 
It's worth it in the end, I promise. Now I'm going to be applying a layer of thin builder gel, a thin layer of builder gel, not a layer thin, but a thin layer, over all that dark purple body. Make sure that you get it kind of around the legs, under the legs, and between the eyes, but not over the eyes. If you get any over the eyes where you don't want it, make sure you clean that off like I am right now with a brush. Then taking lavender flocking powder, you're going to want to press that into all the builder gel all the way around. So around his legs, everywhere where you got that, because you need him to be very fluffy. And you want to use a lighter color of uh, flocking powder than you used for the acrylic so that he kind of has a multicolored appearance. After that's cured, you can go ahead and remove any of the extra flocking powder with a little fan brush. And that is it. Like I said, the spider is so cute. He's actually really easy. He is a little bit time consuming, especially with gluing down those legs but he's easy to do. He's something that I would say you should definitely give a try if you're thinking of trying something cute for Halloween. So I hope you like it and please share any recreations with me on Facebook or Instagram. I would love to see them and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.